You've gone into business for yourself and you're not selling. Maybe you jumped out of the corporate jet. Maybe you were thrown out. I don't know. But one thing I know, you don't want to go back to that corporate jungle. You'd rather die than go back to that corporate job. So like many of us, that first week, that first month is energizing. You set up your office at home, maybe in the second bedroom. Maybe you get office space in a shared space in town. You do the online thing, you build a website or you've amped up your presence on LinkedIn. You're going to networking events and maybe you're even speaking at conferences and you're still not selling. Something's just not hitting it. You're still not selling and the pressure's coming on you. You have financial pressure and you have frustration of not being that thought leader, of not adding value to people's lives that you thought you were going to be adding and getting compensated for it. Here you are as a solopreneur out there, you've got magic, you've got a lot of good stuff to offer the marketplace and you're not selling. It's tough, I know. Before someone was selling and you were fulfilling or you were part of the sales process with a skilled salesperson, or you had a brand behind you. And now you don't have that brand behind you. You're selling you and your thought leadership and your good stuff. So you get out there and you think, well, maybe if I'm likable, ultimately they'll see my value and they'll buy from me. And when that maybe doesn't work, maybe you move into the pushy because you know that pushy salespeople win the deal. And it's not that way. People don't want to be pushed. You don't have to change your personality. And you're not alone. Half of people who start their own solopreneurship, who go into business for themselves, half of them will be back at the corporate job within a year. Of the other half, most of them will tough it out. They'll go every day, they'll give it their best. And within two years, they're either back at the corporate job or they're in some sort of partnered structure and they're really doing that as a fallback for income. That dream of being a thought leader, that dream of adding value to clients' lives in the way that you know that you can best do it, it slowly starts to slip away. It, 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 at first you thought it was a vision, and now it's a long lost dream. It's tough, it hurts. And then what happens is your confidence starts sliding. So you don't really know about the sales skills, and you're kind of feeling it, but your confidence starts slipping too. So now it's a vicious cycle. Your confidence starts going, your conversations in the marketplace just aren't working, and it just snowballs. It becomes a vicious cycle. Deep inside, you know there's an elephant in the room that you're not looking at. When you look in the mirror and you really study yourself, you know you're not skilled at sales. You don't have a real methodology for selling and you don't have the skills for your type of product in your type of marketplace. You know two things. Deep inside you know you don't have the selling skills. You don't have the methodology to consistently bring in new customers, to consistently bring in that income that you need. And you also know deep inside that you can fix it. You can fix it with the right selling methodology and skills that you can immediately apply to when you're out in the marketplace, face to face, or even on the phone, voice to voice with customers. With a simple methodology that's easy to implement, you can sell more effectively. You can land more clients and secure your income. And you can live that dream as a thought leader or a solopreneur who's adding value to your customers' lives. To be effective in sales, you don't have to change your personality. In fact, you shouldn't. You don't have to try to be likable to compensate for your lack of skills. Likable is good, but where you want to be is respected and trusted. You'll sell more effectively when you have a sales methodology built around skills that you're comfortable with. When you're using the right skills with the right sales methods, your prospective customers will see you as a valuable resource. They'll see you as somebody that they can trust and somebody whose services they'll want to secure. 
So here are a few things to start you on your journey to selling more effectively. People love to buy, but they don't like to be sold to. And this is where you need to be when you sell successfully. You need to pull people through their purchase and not push them through your sale. I'm Jack Vincent. 10 years ago, I created the SCORE selling method. At first, it was a tactical questioning model. And over these 10 years, it's evolved into a methodology for navigating robust, dynamic conversations with your prospective clients. Over these 10 years, I've tailored the SCORE selling method for large corporations and mid-sized companies, literally on both sides of the Atlantic. One mid-sized public relations agency had just lost their key client, their biggest part of their annual budget. With our sales training, they actually went back to that client two days later and not only won it back, but won it back with a bigger budget than they had ever had. The CEO of the agency said, thanks to the score selling method and Jack's training with us, we took two things out of that training and we used it with our former client and their our ongoing client again. And we're winning new customers too. Of course, I love to get testimonials like that. But what I like even more is when I help solopreneurs like you not just drive the top line, not just sell more effectively, but enable you to live the life that you want to live and work on business that you love to work on. With the SCORE methodology, you'll be seen as the trusted advisor. You'll be respected as that valuable professional. And even more importantly, you'll position yourself as a peer, regardless of the status or the hierarchy of the person sitting in front of you, you'll be their equal and you'll be their trusted advisor. SCORE drives engagement and builds trust. Your biggest currency in a deal is not euros, it's not pounds, it's not dollars, it's not Swiss francs. Your biggest currency in a deal is trust. And with the SCORE method, your clients will come to see you as the trusted advisor and they'll more often buy and buy from you. If you'd like a snapshot of your selling skills, click the link below and take the SCORE selling method free assessment.